Hello everyone, Shelby here from We Can Hustle. Today I'm going to go over a bit that I've been borrowing from my good friend Jeff Borsell from The Bit Room. So he has so many bits and I get the pleasure of experimenting with them and seeing which ones I like on particular horses. And this horse here is Matt. He is um, a six-year-old that I got a few months ago, about four or five months ago, that only had around 60 days on him. And when I got him, that 60 days was a long time ago. And he just kind of has been sitting a lot. So our uh, training, where we are right now, is we're kind of lo we're loping a good pattern, but it took me a while to get to that point. So the bits I've been using to this point with him is a O-ring and a rope gag. I really liked the O-ring. I used, um, it had a smart mouthpiece, so it didn't have a break in the middle. It just kind of curved around their mouth, so it was almost like a mullen mouth with it was solid and I didn't mind it but he's pretty sensitive with the outside rain so when I went to correct him and move him over his head was all wishy-washy so he was very just sensitive and I was having a hard time finding a bit that I was able to move him but keep his body and keep his head in the shape I wanted so when I talked to Jeff about it and he ended up letting me borrow a couple of his bits this one I really don't want to give back it's the uh, it's a Merrill long shank and has the um, twist three-piece dog bone. I have never used one of these before and honestly I absolutely love it. This bit has been <laughs> such a lifesaver with this horse. I'm able to ride around with one hand just with my gaming reins and really get a good feel and I'm able to be really consistent with him with this bridle. It's not severe. It looks like it might be a pretty big bit but it really isn't. I've used it even with my gray mare Barbie who's really really fussy and she doesn't like a whole lot of stuff where I was actually able to pretty much cruise patterns with this. It ended up being a little too much, like it was a bit too much of it for her. But for a horse like Mac, where we're still early on with our training, I was really, really impressed with this bridle. I just put it on on a whim to see how he'd respond and I haven't looked back yet. And until he says he doesn't like it anymore, but right now, like I said, I'm able, I'm able to use one hand I'm able to do slow work. I've pushed him a little bit with this. I have good lift. I have good woe. He enjoys it. It's not like he's gaping his mouth. It's just all in all, like I'm very, very impressed with these bridles and I think I need to buy one for myself. So if you have a horse, like let's say that's a little sensitive, but you need a bit of control, this would maybe be something I'd recommend. I don't have the chain. I'm not a huge chain person, but of course some of these, they just come with them and I'm not obviously gonna change someone else's bit set up but um i have the chain fairly loose literally there's not even a single link available at this point um it's fairly loose just because he's never really probably had any sort of shank bridle so again i don't want to do a bunch of changes just because we are early with our training but it doesn't matter even if you are early with your training something like this could be a good alternative for you and a good option so i'm gonna go ride him thank you for watching my little bit review Thank you, Jeff, again for letting me use this. So this is what it looks like on him. As I said, it's pretty loose. I'm pretty much able to fit like my whole hand under his chin strap. But for now, just as we're getting a feel, I might have to tighten it accordingly. But for now, I don't want to do everything at once. So we're going to keep it loose. He seems to enjoy the loose chin strap, especially he's never had one before. So definitely keep that in mind when you're experimenting with bridles. Do one thing at a time. So maybe put the new bit in, but have the chain strap, chin strap where it really doesn't do a whole lot of activation. So your horse is able to get used to the shank. And then eventually if you need to adjust it accordingly, you can do so then. But I like to kind of ease them into new equipment and new bits. So the mouthpiece is pretty much sitting there. It's not super loose. It's not really tight. It's just resting there nicely. So when I go to activate it, it just kind of, it's not, it's not super free, but it's loose enough. I'm not causing any wrinkles. And that's how I like all my bridles to be is wrinkle free in their mouth. So we're going to go ride and see what he's doing today. Hopefully it's good. Um, that is my little bit review of this Merrill Longshank with the three piece dog bone. 